Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to filter between odd and even rows. So let's say for example in these two columns we have a table that shows the country and the population. So you maybe want uh, every first, every odd row, that would be this one and this one, or every even row, this one and this one. So basically what we can do is create a numbered row and use that number row as our filter. So for example, now we have our number rows here and we can start to do our filtering. So let's say for example we want to filter all the odd rows and this formula is for odd so I'm going to say true and so now we've got all the odd rows. One, three, five, seven. China, United States, Brazil. Brazil. And if we would just wanted to show the even rows we can just select false here and that would give us two, four, six. Now the other formula is also, I'm going to clear this filter here, the other formula is also, use, is also using uh, another function called the is even function. This one used the is odd function. This one using the is even function. It's just basically the opposite of is odd. And it, it does the same thing. If we're looking for odd, we select true, and we find, excuse me, if we're looking for even, we select true, and we have our two, four, six. And if we're looking for the odd, we'll just select false. And we'll get our one, three, five, seven. Okay, and so that is how we filter it. You can use either the is odd or is even uh, based on your true false statements. What if we didn't want even odd, if we wanted a little bit more flexibility, every third number, every fourth number, maybe every fifth number? Well, there's a function called the mod function that does that can do that. And basically, I have had this selected for every seventh number. And so if I wanted every seventh number, what the mod function does is it, it gives you the remainder after dividing uh, the number by what you choose. So if I wanted every seventh number, I can just say, okay, I want... I want zero. I want to see the output to be zero. Why zero? Because if it's every seventh, uh, seven divided by seven is zero. So there's no remainders here. So this is what it gives me, seven, 14, 21, 28. And you can select every seventh row here. So let me show you how to do this in another sheet. I'm going to go ahead and copy this table here. Select these two cells first and then control shift down arrow to select that table. Control C to copy bring it over to sheet 2 here, control V to paste. And then go ahead and double, since this whole, t these, this whole range is selected, I'm just going to go ahead and double click one of these dividers here, and it will auto fit the cell contents in there. Let me double click that and it will auto fit. Let me go ahead and bring over the headings in this sheet too, so I don't have to do it all over again. Select that, control C to copy, control V to paste, double click, double click, double click. All right. So the number, right, this is something that we would just have to create a, a bunch of numbers that increment up to one, uh, increment by one. One, two, three, oops. I'll just press one here, then two here, then three here. Now, since it's already kind of in sequence, I can select that and just double click the fill handle and it's going to repeat the increase of one all the way down to the bottom. So you can see it increased it all the way down there. So that is my helper column. This basically is a helper column so I can put the other functions in there. Let me go and double click that, make it a little bit bigger. So the is odd function, basically it's very simple. You just type equal is odd. I'm going to tab that to complete it and it's going to give me parentheses. And I just select that cell. It's just looking for either a number or a reference to a number. And so I'm going to select that cell, press control enter to stay within that cell and double click the fill handle, bring it down. So now you can say it's true, this is odd, false, that's even, true, odd. So th that's for the is odd. For is even, basically the same thing. Just type is even and then select the helper column number, control enter to keep, stay within that cell and double click it. So basically it's the opposite of the is odd, is even, right? We've got our outputs here and that is correct. So how do we do the every nth number? Well, basically, this is using the mod function. So the mod function is equal mod. And so what the mod function will be asking for is two arguments. First is the number, and then the divisor. So let's say that we wanted to have our filter for every third item. This one, this one, this one. So we're going to take the number, or the reference to that number, as our first argument. You can see it's, it's bold here. I press comma and it'll put me to the second argument here. What's the divisor? Well, if we want to filter every third item, it's going to be three. So in this first example, one divided by three is going to give us a remainder of something other than zero. 
2 is going to do the same thing, and but 3 is going to give us a remainder of 0, because there is no remainder when you divide 3 by 3. So if you've ever done division by longhand, you'll know that if you do 1 divided by 3, there will be a remainder that's not 0, the same with 2, but if you do 3 divided by 3, you'll get a remainder of 0, basically nothing. And that's what we're looking for. So I do control enter. You don't, I don't need to leave the uh, add a per second parenthesis because actually Excel is smart enough to put one in there. I press control enter and it's com to complete that function. And I'll go ahead and double click this fill handle and bring it down. So we see here 1 divided by 1, 1 divided by 3 will give us a remainder of 1 something something. Uh, same with 2. And, but when you get to 3, it gives a remainder of 0. And that's what we're going to be filtering on. So if I put a filter on here and go under, I just select anywhere in the table and I go under uh, sort and filter and click filter. And if I clicked 0, it will just give me every third number. And that's how you can filter it. So if I wanted to do it by every, I don't know, eighth number, I can just go ahead and remove that and put 8 press control enter and then double click on the fill handle down here and you'll see once we get to 8 it'll put, put a 0 there once we get to 16 it'll put a 0 there and that's how you can do it for if you want to filter by any nth number so here's our examples for odd here's an example for even and here's the example for every nth number so I hope that helps thanks for watching if you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.